What is up guys, it is your boy Steady Chaos. In tonight's video, I wanna talk about the LG C1 and its viewing angles, right? This is a really important topic. If you are looking to buy a TV, depending on your setup, if you wanna buy a family room TV and you have a lot of sofas around the peripheral of your TV, meaning you have a lot of off-angle viewing, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your television has solid off-angle viewing, right? You don't want just one person to have a good experience on movie night, the one person who's sitting directly in the center of the screen has the best view, right? So let's talk about it. OLED, organic light emitting diode display. Each individual pixel on an OLED can turn itself on or off, and this TV is generally great for viewing off angle. You can see here on our things, they give it an 8.9 score out of 10. So if you look down here, you see color washout begins at 57 degrees. Generally, a good score is anything above 45 degrees, right? You want the degree number to be higher for changes in picture quality to begin, right? So if you are only five or 10 degrees off angle and your contrast and brightness starts shifting or changing and the quality decreases, that's bad, right? You're only five or 10 degrees off angle. So you have to get to 57 degrees off angle for the OLED color to begin washing out you have to get to 30 degrees off angle for the color to begin shifting. This isn't a particularly great score. If you look at the chart here, red is bad, yellow is mediocre, and green is good. So you see the C1 is only mediocre in terms of color shift. Ideally, like we said, a good value is over 45 degrees. So not the best score here for the OLED, which is a bit surprising because, like I said, OLEDs are generally good off angle but everything else is very good about this television. Brightness loss doesn't occur till 69 degrees, black level rays doesn't begin until 70 degrees, and gamma shift doesn't begin until 64 degrees. So if you look at black level rays, anything again above 45 degrees is a good score. We're at 70. You can see here the OLED is standing all by itself way in the green section, meaning there aren't a lot of TVs that perform better than the C1 for off angle viewing as it pertains to black level rays. And the same for brightness loss, you see it's over here in the green, and the same for gamma shift, you see it's over here in the green. Even color washout, it's over here in the green. It's just the color shift, and they describe it as right here, the angle at which some colors hue shift by three degrees, meaning they change color, such as becoming more bluish. So that's the one knock on the OLED, but by and large, the OLED TV, any OLED TV, is a great television for wide angle viewing. It makes a great TV for a family room that has seating positions all around the, the, the front of the television and the sides of the television. Obviously, you don't want to go crazy off angle, like 80, 85 degrees off angle. You don't want to be watching a TV basically sideways. Now let's compare this C1 to the TV I have in my living room, the JS8500 LED LCD television by Samsung. Now this TV is not an OLED television, it's an LED LCD like I said, and it uses a specific technology called VA panel technology, otherwise known as vertical alignment. You see it right here, vertical alignment. So the problem with vertical alignment TVs is yes, they're good with on angle viewing. They get nice and bright. They have great contrast and color saturation on angle, meaning if you're seated right in the middle of the screen, you're looking dead on at the screen. It's a, it's a great picture. But it's when you start going off angle, even just slightly, that it begins to lose its composure and its picture quality. If you look here, color shift begins at a paltry 20 degrees. And if you look at this chart, you see it's over in the red. Brightness issues, meaning the angle where the brightness drops to 50% of the brightness directly in front of the TV, again, in the red, it starts shifting at just 30 degrees. And then black level, an angle where the black level drops to 50% of the black level directly in front of the TV, again, in the red. And you see here, just at 16 degrees, it begins having issues with black level and washout. So VA panels are generally not good choices for a wide viewing arrangement. You could also go with what's known as an IPS LCD panel, an in-plane switching panel. Those are also generally very good at wide angle viewing, very much like an OLED, sometimes even better than an OLED. But let's stick to this comparison, the C1 versus the JS8500 VA panel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a real-time test. We're gonna go off angle here with the C1 and show you what it looks like. All right, so here you see we are on angle for the LG C1. We're dead center. The screen is beautiful, it's contrasty, it's colorful, it's vibrant. 
What happens when we start going off angle? Let's test that right now. We're only probably 15 to 20 degrees off angle right here, and it is maintaining its image quality. At least to my naked eye it is. And then we come further off angle. We're probably close to 40 degrees off angle here. It still looks remarkably good. I'd say this is about as far off angle as you would want to sit. Some of the brightness of the TV uh, maybe looks a little bit off. Some of the gamma, I would say, maybe looks a little off. Some of the colors maybe appear a little faded. Let's go further off angle, but really it's, it's maintaining its composure quite well by and large. We go a little further off angle. So this is about as max off angle as you can get. This is going to be a solid 60, 65, maybe 70 degrees off angle. And really, it does not look that bad, the image quality. It doesn't look quite as contrasty as it normally would, but still maintaining its color pretty well. So let's go back on angle real quick to finish this up. And there we are. What do you think? I think it does a great job off angle vertically and above the screen. I think the OLED does a great job and I think it's an excellent, excellent television for off angle viewing. Now let's go check out the JS8500 VA TV in the other room. Okay, so here we are with the JS8500 VA panel and on angle like this sitting dead center, it's a perfect, beautiful, vibrant, bright image, dare I say even brighter than the OLED, which isn't really surprising. A lot of LED LCDs get brighter than OLEDs, but how does it fare, this vertical alignment VA panel, how does it fare when you go off angle? That's when things start to quickly deteriorate. So let's start going off angle. All right, we'll stop right here. We're about 35, maybe 40 degrees off angle. It's not doing too bad of a job, but certainly the contrast has washed out just a touch, but not that bad. Let's go further off angle and see what happens. Okay, we are very much off angle here. And to my eye, it's not as bad as Arting's numbers would suggest, but certainly the image loses its, its punch, its saturation. It feels faded a little bit. It feels like it's lost some contrast in color saturation. And if you come back on angle, that becomes quickly apparent. So we paused it and you see the tiger is nice and bright. The vegetation behind him is nice and green and lush. What happens when we go off angle with a paused frame? Let's get a little closer. Now let's start going off angle. So you see here the television just it loses its color. The colors are shifting. They've lost their punch. The contrast has lost its punch. So this is not the best television for off angle viewing. But honestly, if you are not a video file and you just want any old television, you don't care if it's, you know, a cheap LED LCD, then don't worry too much about viewing angle. Most likely if you're not a video file, if your friends and family aren't video files, they're not going to complain too much about off angle viewing. However, if you are very concerned about picture quality and your guests are concerned about picture quality, your family and friends are, then I would highly recommend you go with an IPS television or an OLED panel for better wide viewing angle. If you are always going to sit straight on on angle, VA panel is just fine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like down below, leave a comment. And please subscribe to the channel for more tech content like this, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.